Okay, guys, um, we're going to um, start in. I cut a large piece of blue for kind of the background of my, um, my water. And we can uh, glue some little white um, strips, some really skinny little white strips for the shine of the sky in there. We could add some of the uh, sky reflections onto the top of this, or we can just tear it and make it into, um, you know, long strips going aside. And um, they're going to be different uh, widths and, and lengths. And you can put them all over um, and let the white of the, um, the tears of the paper, this white around the blue from the printing process is only on the top of this paper. So when you tear it, you've got that little white uh, on there. And then we're just going to kind of layer all of these um, up onto our water area. So... We're gonna start with that, um, and then I'm gonna flip it upside down and do the sky, okay? So I'm going to put my glue down on the water area. and then just start laying. Now this one has a straight line across here, so I'm gonna put it at the bottom. So I'm gonna start with this one. And you know how it works, right? Glue it down, right? Um, and then you're going to put glue on top as well. And this is just the um, Elmer School Glue because the um, Dollar Tree is closed. I don't know why Dollar General is open, but anyway, whatever. Um, and then you're just going to lay more pieces on here. And I chose this one to go at the top because it's got that white from where the um, from where the waterfall is um, falling down onto the blue water, the little pool of water at the bottom of the waterfall. And you're just gonna keep um, keep layering these up. Now I'm gonna put this straight line uh, uh, at the bottom, just because um, I can put a, a jagged edge over it. And um, I'm gonna put these little striations. And remember, if anything comes off the edge, don't worry about that, we'll cut it off at the very end. You know how we've done that in class? So um, feel free to just um, go in and see how this is looking like little waves and, and stuff, I love that. Uh, your first layer down doesn't mean it's your only layer down. Remember that too. Um, you can always come back in and put, you know, more white or more, um, uh, you know, whatever colors you want to in your water. Every once in a while, I'm gonna to want to grab a um, a piece of the uh, darker brown. Here it was, uh, and just um, add me a stone in the water, so it looks like it's a uh, you know some of this cliff has fallen off and it's kind of in the water there. I like to do that. Um, I do like to tear it kind of, you know, in a stone shape. So don't let it be like a, um, 
you know, like geometrical looking in any way. It needs to be all craggy and and uh, <clears throat> stuff like that. Let's see if I can lift that up. No, no, that's okay. We're just gonna put that little bit of blue on there and just let the rest of that blue hang off just so I can get blue on there. <clears throat> and um, whoops. Not sure I had enough underneath there. There we go. If you get a bunch of bumps in there, um, I don't know if you remember from the very first, uh, if there's not enough glue underneath and it makes that little bump or whatever, you can always take like a toothpick and poke a hole and then just glue in that hole. That's, you know, that's no big deal. Uh, so I need to get some more of the darker blues. You're just making all the adjustments you need to make as you're going along and filling in the area. Let's see, and this one kind of needs to be square. So I can put that in there. A little bitty tiny bit of blue. <laughs> put that in and we're just having fun with all this guys I hope you are too whoops fingers are starting to get sticky oops I want the white part to show up here so let's just put that one in little bitty thing here at the bottom And you should get it, you know, mostly filled up. If it's got a little bit of, um, of uh, you know, the white of the paper uh, showing through, depends on what you're doing yours on, then, uh, yeah, let me put that around that corner. Um, then you can do your um, piece, oh, that's the back side of that piece of paper, but that's okay. Some of the highlights in the water are gonna be lighter color anyway, right? So, I don't want a vertical right there, so I think I'm gonna just put a rock, which would be kind of fun. Just let it be a small one. Stick it over here. Oh, I don't want it pointed. Here we go. And we're working on our um, working on our water now. This uh, color that's showing through here might be a little bit of ink showing through, but it may just be because of the uh, paper being wet. So when it dries, if this doesn't come back uh, absolute white, I'm probably going to put um, you know some little strips of white through there. So anyway, we're going to go on to our um, cliffs. And the reason I want to put the cliffs on first is because um, I want to put the trees on top, you know, so I want that to kind of be in the background and um, and all that. But, you know, with this type of, of um, art project, it's, you know, you can do it in, you can do it in multiple ways. Normally, if I was doing a painting, I'd say, you got to do the sky, you got to do the heels in the background, then you're going to do the cliffs and you're going to do the uh, trees, the waterfall, and the water. So it's like going from background, middle ground, foreground kind of thing. But with this, you get to play around with it and you can always put stuff on top and, um, whoops, <laughs> just touch the glue. Um, and we're going to uh, just start putting in, I uh, painted this whole thing kind of uh, uh, with glue. So I can just kind of start putting these in. And I don't want it to be, you know, just absolutely perfect. Um, 
with um, where it lands here on the water. So um, let some of the water, I need to go up underneath there. It's not sticking down. I was gonna lay a whole bunch of them on here first and then, uh, oh, that's an interesting shape. We could put that in the um, top part of the cliff. And I'm running out of glue. You're gonna need a lot of glue for this, so you can go ahead and put you out a large amount. <laughs> Just I opened up the large part of the glue instead of the top, and uh, wow, look at that. I got a bunch of glue everywhere. But that's okay. And then you gotta glue those pieces down. You can actually put quite a few of them on first and then come back and do this glue part. Um, you know, that's up to you. in this smaller oh you know what <laughs> that's funny oh well I was gonna do the uh, darker side over there but it's no big deal we'll have the lighter side over there so oops I kind of like that little part. I think I might just make the water go in there. That decision's made. And you don't have to have this, you know, just absolutely perfect because you're still going to put your trees on top. So um, don't worry about that. Oops. Water's still wet. <laughs> if y'all need to work on it, you know, um, you know, 10 or 15 minutes and then let that side dry and then come back over here, you know, that's, you know, perfectly fine. I don't know why I didn't use that somewhere, but that's absolutely gorgeous. I'll probably use it for rocks. Um, and then I'm going to do the uh, lighter side. 
I know that doesn't show in my photograph. I'm just, you know, changing it up. Get creative. You don't want to just, you know, follow exactly one uh, particular picture. So I'm going to put that where it fits down into the water. That's a dark. Here at the bottom, I'm just gonna rip it off. I don't want that to go more into the water than you know, kind of flat across the uh, piece there. I feel like I should have some music playing or something. <laughs> Just trying to get our uh, little mountains and hills in here. This mountain actually comes all the way over here, so i um, not really sure what this line is, but I'm just going to paint over it with glue. And then the waterfall comes around that, so we'll just do that. really kind of measured out what I thought was going to be enough. I may have to go back and find a little bit of light color or just make the waterfall thicker. You know, there's lots of different ways to to uh, figure this out, right? So.
and these aren't you know perfect there's gonna be a bunch of trees up there anyway so that's not gonna be a problem my paper is um, beginning to warp and this is 140 pound paper so if you need to uh, stop and um, you know let the paper dry a little bit so it's not bent up too much then you know feel free to do that that's um fingers are getting sticky <laughs> All right, well, I guess I did have enough, so that's amazing. <clears throat> oh, the light color. So I've got a light side and a dark side to my canyon there. And then um, I've got the uh, water colors um, in this um, sky piece that I wanted to do. Um, but I don't really want too many of these words to show. I don't mind some of the words show, but like this really big, you know, spring thing, uh, you know, I think that's kind of a, a little bit much. So I'm going to pull the green off of there. <clears throat> and I'm just going to start tearing me some long uh, pieces for the waterfall. Whoops, a little bitty one. <laughs> Take your time when doing these too. Um, you want to make sure that they are not torn. Um, you know, they'll just tear them all up and have too many itty bitty bitty pieces well, this will take you a good long time to do but you know like that girl's picture that I showed you she had quite a few small pieces I wonder how big her actual artwork is this is a 9 by 12 um, piece of paper so uh, don't know what size you're working with but you know it doesn't have to be super big um, it can be uh, Um, you know just a small one as long as you're learning and practicing you know all these techniques and whatnot then um, that's what the class is all about so I'm putting my glue down there's a nice big rock up here so I'm going to need to go back and get some of that dark uh, brown And I think that looks nice. So I'm just gonna put that in real quick. And then I'm probably gonna put a little bit of white uh, coming around with some of the little bitty small uh, skinny pieces to, um, to show there's water going around that particular rock. If I put all these in and find out that, um, you know, kind of needed to do um, more color variations, there's no reason you can't just go right back on top with um, some, you know, absolute whites or whatever. 
and um, do the, um, you know, build up layers in your water. That's what I'm trying to say. My hands are not getting in the way too much that you can see what I'm doing, but your hands do have to hold the top and the bottom of each piece. But you can start to see that the water is beginning to um, beginning to dry. So at least that's so. Uh, don't have to worry about your hands sitting in a certain area. Well, if this doesn't you know, match up absolutely perfect. It's no big deal. We're gonna make the the white stripes and the the um, the kind of foam or whatever from the from the force of the water uh, coming down. So. This uh, particular magazine has um, has some uh, the pictures underneath are kind of showing through a little bit, but um, just came right off. <laughs> the uh, waterfall is oops, a little um, white at the top as it's uh, coming off and then it's whiter uh, down here where it hits this little uh, shelf. It's also uh, whiter. So I'm just taking some white pieces of uh, of um, the edge around 
some of these uh, papers from the magazines, any of the um, the white that's around the edge of some of the ads. That's what that's what this uh, particular one is. So you can see where I cut the ad away, and I've got these uh, absolute whites to uh, to work with. So try to put a little bit more white at the top. It's not quite as blue, and I think that we could even add some, uh, you know, darker blues or uh, teals or whatever you want uh, inside your your um, waterfall. Be as creative as you can, guys. This is just figuring out how you want it to look. I wish this didn't have this straight edge, but. I'm just going to peel a little bit of it here and there so it's not straight all the way down. And I'm going to put a little bit of white at the tip of it. So, should be whiter, you know, at the top. So I'm just building up these layers of white. Then I'm going to put some um, kind of foam around the bottom and go out, look at your reference photos, you see that, and um, I'm actually just going to cut away this to be a jig jaggy edge because tearing it right now with my fingers are so sticky. <laughs> so, I can put this down at the bottom, like this, tap that down, I'm going to go across here as well, as the water part is uh, starting to dry, and then I'm just going to add more white, just the absolute whites. Uh, along the uh, bottom. Well, that didn't do too much. It's hoping to get some longer strips, but just not tearing but little strips. <laughs> so. That'll be fine. Go back that way. There we go. <laughs> so I can get this little foam down here. This is starting to dry a little bit lighter. I really like this absolute white, but um, if it doesn't um, if it doesn't, if it stays gray as it dries and the white of the paper doesn't show through, then I'm going to um, come back and put some little, just some little white skinny strips uh, throughout there. So we've got our mountains, we've got our waterfall, we've got our water at the bottom, and um, I think I'm going to turn it upside down so I can kind of work on the um, the sky and instead of doing these purple mountains uh, that are showing in the picture in the background I think that's going to be distracting from this color uh, a lot so I'm just going to do the green trees over it um, when looking at the picture uh, I'm just going to make the sky come where that little bit of purple is uh, right there and I'm just going to have these really cool green trees uh, coming up uh, from there so we're just going to do our sky and you can do it um, you know however you choose that's up to you when you have a lot of things going on you know it gets a little bit busy with uh, paper collage sometimes you have to omit some things so that's perfectly fine but uh,
and um, I'm going to leave a little space right here uh, so that I can uh, hold on to it while uh, I'm working on the sky and um, get my uh, my pieces in. I wanted to put this one at the very top uh, just because it has that flat line and um, get that. Oh, well, can't put it at the very top if I don't go ahead and put glue there. So let's just go ahead and put glue on there. I'm already sticky anyway. <laughs> That's the fun part about this particular kind of uh, of uh, art form is that uh, it's not only beautiful; it's you get to get all kinds of crazy um, I think these were too big of a pieces that I'd chosen, so I'm just going back and making some smaller tears in uh, these. Uh, I kind of wanted to use them just because they're kind of like uh, the color in the waterfall, like it's, um, uh, you know, they, like they kind of go together, they tie together, so. Sometimes they move on you. I'm not sure if you can uh, stretch them back out or not. Um, so they uh, just might be a little bit, a little bit different position than what you have. Uh, sheet of sky. There it is. Now that I'm not doing the mountains, I kind of uh, running out of some sky color, but that's okay. We can, uh, I have plenty of sky torn out. Um, top of that hill a little bit. That's okay. Stay. 
<laughs> wants to move around, I keep touching my brush to stuff. Make sure you're leaving um, your brush laying on your plate or on your um, on a surface that's not going to get a bunch of glue on it. You don't want your mom uh, being upset. She got glue all over the table or something. So cover your surface, even if it's just with wax paper, like we do in class sometimes. That's a great way to. reference photo yeah the sky is um, gonna have to get a little bit darker because I didn't put the purple mountain next to this so I might just have to um, um, make the sky a little bit darker there but I have that that watercolor um, the color of the water there and um, I also have a little bit of this water in this picture that I think would be a nice uh, contrast there so I might just use some of that as uh, some of the to create a contrast between this white part of the uh, waterfall and uh, to create a contrast in the sky. If that makes sense. Whoops. Going in the mountain. I'm working through this pretty quickly. You take your time doing this for purposes of making these videos for you. Whoops. I think that's where I'm going to uh, start doing that little bit darker blue. Um, again, that I used in the uh, the water down here, which I don't have that page. What are we doing? I do need to find uh, a little bit of that darker blue. I could probably use um, some of this gray color. Um, let's see how that looks, if that's gonna give us a, enough definition in the um, sky. And if I put it on there and don't like it, you know, we just cover it up, right?
as the sky. I can like uh, I don't know why I'm feeling with all these little bitty spaces so much because there's going to be a bunch of trees there. Uh, so I think I might um, let that dry and see how it looks. If I need to do some more contrast, I'll probably put a thicker white uh, paper here on the top of the uh, waterfall. And I think that would actually be a little bit more than darkening the sky. Um, either that or I could, you know, I got to find this blue and put some of that at the top of the of the uh, waterfall. So I'm not sure what I did with all those little pieces of blue. That's piece of sky. That's dark brown. Get that rid of that. All right, so this is the fun part I was gonna show you guys about uh, these trees um, that are in this particular uh, picture. That you can actually cut these out to look like um, uh, you know, these type of trees. It would be changing this from pine trees to these trees, but you can also cut these in a pine tree uh, shape, and that's pretty easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a triangle like this, long and skinny. So that it looks like, it looks like this, right? And then I'm just going to take and I'm going to cut out some, um, like where the little branches would be. Now this is going to take you a little while and it's probably going to be um, messy, so do it over a uh, trash can or whatever. And um, <laughs> so much glue on my fingers. So see where I'm cutting away, whoops, these little uh, notches in the um, piece. Let me see if you can see that up against another color better, um, where I'm cutting away those little notches to make it look more like a uh, pine tree. So I'm going to cut a straight, and then I'm going to cut a crooked, then I'm going to cut a straight and a crooked. You can do these in any way that you want. Guys, don't make them all the same length, and don't make them all the same distance apart. You want some of them, it's going to look like fringe kind of thing when you're, when you're done, right? So all these little pieces are falling into my water. So you need to make sure that you're not, um, you're not getting all those, a little tiny bit of green in the water is not gonna hurt anything either. But, um, you know, you do wanna make sure it doesn't stick. There's a lot of glue on this piece, right? So, anyway, this is the way I'm gonna cut out these little, um, kinda like what we did with the bee. And um, pull out these little uh, Frenchy parts. And it's really going to show up, especially up against that light color sky. Uh, and even more so on the um, light color of the rocks and stuff. Um, I had a bunch of these pre cut. Um, and I don't know what happened to them. I think somebody just thought, oh, what is this? And just thought it was trash, you know, like somebody was cutting something out and whatever. Uh, in an artist's house, you don't really throw anything away. So you can kind of see how this is going to look up against the, um, up against the light rocks, how it's going to look up against the tree. And um, So I'm gonna cut a couple of these and uh, just let you guys finish up the class. That's usually what I do is give you all instruction and then just let you go. Get creative. Can't wait to see 
what some of you guys um, are doing with your your projects. So this is our original. You can kind of see my uh, trees. They can be down sitting on a, a ledge here on these rocks, or they can be going up into the sky. Let me pull this back down so you can see it a little bit better. And uh, they can be uh, anywhere, you know, that you choose for your trees to be. You get to make up your own little world, your own little, um, what did you come off of there? There we go. Uh, you know, how your uh, pieces are going to go. So I'm just going to stick one way up here in the sky. I'll let you see how that goes. Another thing I found that I thought was kind of interesting was these um, bushes. And if you wanted to do some, um, some shrubbery or whatever, uh, this is just a bunch of little uh, bushes that I found. I kind of cut out where somebody was standing or whatnot, you know. But you don't have to use this as the whole thing. You can just use, you know, part of it to um, to show like there's a ledge here, especially where this uh, this rock stops and the waterfall is falling over it and whatnot, you know. You can actually put some of those uh, little bushes in. And so this is where you would see some of the bushes and whatnot. Here's some smaller trees, tiny little stick. Uh, that's a little skinny black piece of of uh, paper, and then you're going to put that little triangle piece on top. So um, I am going to let you go, and because I don't want you to sit here and just watch me cut all these trees again. Uh, but I wanted to show you uh, how to get this going, how to get it all started, how to um, layer on your colors. And I really kind of want this to dry to see if I need to put more blue before I put more trees on, and if I need to add more white, which I think this is very white. Um, in the middle. See how it's kind of gray on the sides, but right down the middle and right inside here, this little uh, foamy splash, you know, where it hits the water and splashes up uh, is a little bit brighter. And so I'm going to wait for this to dry because it does look like it's a little grayer than I want it to be. So this is where you as an artist get to choose. Okay, well, I'm not sure I like this. Uh, this is what I was going to use for those purple mountains. And so that's what would have been there anyway. But I think I want to go back with uh, a brighter blue. I like this kind of color blue or maybe this purpley blue. Uh, but I'm going to let it dry first and see what it looks like um, as I go. So I can't wait to see what you guys are doing. Look for your reference picture in the email that I sent out. And I hope you have fun just uh, doing your cool landscape paper collage. Um, it's like a full landscape. It's got a background, a middle ground, a foreground. So there isn't any reason you couldn't put like a little person fishing out here or something too, or swimming or whatever. Uh, you know, they could be sitting on one of these rocks, uh, just a little tiny person cut out or something. That would be awesome. So, but you get to create your own little world the way you want it to be and send me your pictures. I can't wait to see what they look like. Oh, that would look cool. Um, it's kind of too much the same color, though. It doesn't contrast enough, but uh, you could do it on the other side. Oh, look at that. Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to wait for this to dry uh, because I want to make if I want to make any more changes and stuff like that. So send me your pictures of how your piece turned out, and um, I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye. I have so much glue on my hands, I didn't think you want me to touch your camera. I appreciate that. <laughs> so.